What up, family? Get a news report of Mary and Dad's twin and Mary and Leah. Got a little short video I like to do for you. This being Columbus Day, Monday, October the 11th, 2021. So they say. So they say. But they go, uh, they go right there on the calendar. So, you know. Just want y'all to see for yourself. Now, I keep telling you, I'm the originator of rap. And Columbus come to steal, kill, and destroy, right? Now, this is called a cheat sheet. This is the red-eyed newspaper that used to uh, be free in my city, Chicago. This is uh, number 44. Barack Obama was, what, the 44th president? His name was so-called uh, Barack Hussein Obama. Now, he was born in Hawaii. He was not a native of the land of Chicago. But I made his um, dreams come true when the um, officer at one of the detention centers they had me in, a.k.a. lockup in uh, 2008 when Barack Obama, you know, was running for president. And they railroaded me because I was giving my book, Rhymes, Poems, and Metaphors, plus one song away. And I'm a native of the land of Chicago, America, continent. And, you know, I'm a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and the rest came from people like you, right? Now, my um, story, my child abuse rap, my my legacy, my uh, the Color Poop Purple movie that Oprah played in was loosely based on a true story. You know, me and my uh, foster sister, Kimberly Redman, you know, a lot of stuff was based off of me. If you know, you know. If you don't, please... Figure out, ask somebody else. I am about sick of this story. I'm going to make it real um, short. So Barack Obama in 1995 must have caught wind of my um, voice and uh, potentials because I gave Oprah my uh, voice to music on uh, three cassette tapes front and back and uh, my voice to the I Have a Dream speech. And, you know, I said, don't forget about the women. But I didn't know at the time if you flip the W, you got more men. So I say, ladies and gentlemen, men, women, children, you know, cats, dogs, you know, mammals. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody that's, you know, original, let's put it like that. And even the transgenders, if they got the balls to cut off their penis and, you know, be the person that they are without trying to kill me for my legacy to make you whoever you want to be because that shit costs money, right? Uh, implants and surgery and all that, you know, and rappers, we accumulated the most, right? Now, I'm the originator of rap, so this is the cheat sheet. The Red Eye no longer is a part of uh, Chicago, you know, as far as the newspaper. They got South Side newspaper now or something like that. Got a lot of invaders coming from the South, you know, to uh, Chicago, from down South to Chicago. So the Red Eye was for the Native people, and because they're trying to get rid of us, you know, me, and this is Columbus Day, don't forget, you know, uh, they got something right here that says, now pay attention. It says, first rapper in space, Chicago rapper, Tokyo's new album, www.rocketed sky high before it even came out. Number, literally, he took a helium balloon into space and played the album 100,000 feet above Earth's surface. Afterwards, a parachute brought him back down safely. The journey was live streamed on his Instagram. But his manager says a video recapping the full experience is in production. WW was released February the 23rd. Now, this came out because if you tell a lie long enough, it will become the truth, right? And this came out Thursday, March the first this paper 2018 now I did a video an amateur video from my laptop nine years ago you understand what I'm saying real talk and I titled it um, I'm ready for takeoff and it had you know me looking like I was in a, you know, one of them astronaut things. Let me see if I can, uh, if I can uh, find it for you. Hold on. 
with my with my phone because all of this is 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 <laughs> is really starting to annoy me. But I, I said even in the video I said make them do you. You understand what I'm saying? And they are doing me, but they're not giving me my money, property, and prestige for it. You understand what I'm saying? The recognition. They keep trying to give it to some white guy. And I have to let you know that uh, this is me. You understand what I'm saying? Coming up with all this. I'm the reason for the season. And right now at my trap building, 6210 South Ken Park Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60637, apartment 308, they are literally trying to kick me out in the cold so I can get killed for uh, Halloween. Now you see this right here? You look at it. You see, don't you? This is good to have two phones. You see the date on that? That's nine years ago. It says, I'm ready for takeoff. I'm ready for takeoff, Mary Mac. 168 views. Imagine that. Now you see me, don't it look like I'm out of space? And I was just playing around, but the video goes hard. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Let me, let me see exactly when it come out. It goes hard, man. Real fucking talk. Now, listen. Once again, hello viewer. How are you doing today? Hope your day is going well. You have clicked on again to Mary Lee Davis, a.k.a. Mary Matt. As you can see, I am not of this world called Earth. I am out of space right now. I'm trying to get my galaxy on. You understand know what I'm saying? I'm trying to reach the stars for real. I ain't talking about the ones in the Illuminati. <laughs> I'm talking about the ones in heaven that have died probably due to the fact <laughs> of the Illuminati, you know. But I ain't finna talk on no Illuminati. Just want my viewers to know who I am, you know. First of all, if you don't know, I am a female. That's not gonna change, sorry. Now, uh, I said I was a female, but ones. now females that are transgender saying that they are females. You understand what I'm saying? So I am a real girl born this way. I just happen to look masculine because I have to work all my life, hard, 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 no family, no real friends, you know, just a lot of, a lot of work, a lot of work. I've had opportunist people in my life other than that, you understand what I'm saying? No real people that cared about my welfare. And, you know, to prove it, these hit, this paper is old, it came out in 2018. I was reading a horoscope, and Oprah is an Aquarius. You see right here, Aquarius. You see what it say? You see that? It says, this week is all about the Benjamins when it comes to love. Money is not only front and center in your mind, but in your partners as well. Instead of stressing out, take your emotional edge down a few notches and allow an expert like your accountant to worry about it. Focus on what you and your sweetie do best, making love. And, you know, uh, Eminem said love spelled backwards is evil and when you really think about it it really is you understand what I'm saying real talk now Wesley Snipes accounting is the reason why Wesley Snipes had to go to prison for tax problems you understand what I'm saying real talk so you know you can't even say account no more you can't even say that so you know I'm trying to get you to understand this came out August 28th, 2012, my video. And wasn't the march, the march on, on Washington, August 28th or something? See, the spirit don't lie. And today is Columbus Day. Real talk. So let me play this back a little bit more so you can hear how mine's, you know, sound and stuff and how I got infiltrated and all that. Listen. Once again. Hello, viewer. How are you doing today? Hope your day is going well. You have clicked on again to Mary Lee Davis, a.k.a. Mary Matt. As you can see, I am not of this world called Earth. I am out of space right now. I'm trying to get my galaxy on. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to reach the stars for real. 
ain't talking about the ones in the Illuminati. <laughs> I'm talking about the ones in heaven that have died probably due to the fact of the Illuminati. Yeah. You know? I'm going to put that video with this one to let you know that I'm the originator of rap. So if a guy by the name of, you know, because all people are doing trying to solidify they, they name and my story. You understand what I'm saying? You got younger me trying to take over my story. You know, you got this rapper claiming he's the first rapper in space. If all that video was talking about space, even me at the end talking about, okay, time for me to uh, come down to earth or whatever and stuff. And I'm talking beam me up, Scotty, and all kind of stuff. You understand what I'm saying? The lingo alone, nigga, and the, you know, the illusion of me being in space. That's what a female impersonator is. A female impersonator was a man who looked like he can dress up like a, uh, like a girl or a lady and still have his parts and just gave you the illusion of a, um, a woman. Not somebody that go through the whole thing. It was a guy out there. I'm telling you, he was real cute. But when he dressed up like Beyonce, he really looked like Beyonce. But when he took the stuff off, he looked like himself. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And I used to support him, but other people wouldn't support him. And I believe he was in a Beyonce video one day. I swear the spirit is not lying to me. And Jay-Z, man, you know what I'm saying? Because he was a gay guy. And I seen him recently. He said he's still getting his, his um, Beyonce on or whatever and stuff. Those are the ones that I support. You know, um, Flame and Roe, no disrespect. You understand what I'm saying? You know, but at the end of the day, it was a, a transgender by the name of, uh, I believe, uh, Tasha. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, she gave a hell of a performance. You know, I used to support the transgender as far as money and stuff like that. But I'm not here to give you my life. I'm a real girl. You understand? I want to live my best life also. You know, if you want to cut your penis off or whatever it is y'all do and stuff, find the money to do it on your turn. Don't be dragging me and my people that look like me, the aggressors, who I'm trying to put on the map without having to sleep with transgenders and things of that nature. If that's their business, that's their business. But don't try to make me into that person. That's not me, okay? And back to this first rapper in space, though. Come on, man. Even in, even in my video, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, the space video and now I put in this description I said make them do you they not trying to be black for nothing now this is Christopher Columbus honoring Christopher Columbus now they trying to kick me out on the 25th which is a couple of Mondays from now and one two three four five six days later is Halloween on the 31st now I went to job court in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, on October the 31st. And we all know Michael Jackson is with that thriller stuff or whatever and stuff. Look, if you just really trying to kill me, you ain't got to wait till the 31st. You've been doing it all along and stuff. If you really think you can get away, I still got time on this video. We can do it on video. You ain't got to try to make a trap for me or whatever, whoever y'all is and stuff. I'm the originator of rap. It's the truth. This is so-called Christopher Columbus Day. You know, we fed them. They killed us and stuff. That's the truth. People that look like me, not the $5 Indians, even though they got my blood in them. But there's some white blood motherfuckers out there. Ain't got no nothing in them. Those are the ones that's the savages and other motherfuckers jumping on the bandwagon trying to get rid of us and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? The mixed breeds. Real talk. We worth the most and stuff. Real talk. So... You see this say, cheat, cheat, the digit eight, the originator of rap since the, you know, age of eight. Motherfucking goddamn Barack Obama cheated. You know, he supposed to have gave me a pardon. I read something in the Quran. Talk about a pardon. If he was a Muslim, he would have known to pardon me. If I got you in the White House with my story, for real, for real, the least you could have did was pardon me. So my iPod wanted me to do it all myself. You understand what I'm saying? So I got... The paperwork all here for y'all to rob and steal and act as if, you know, my drop top T-Tac Cadillac truck ain't real and Grumpy Cat ain't got the crown. 
Real talk. They hated Grumpy Cat. And Grumpy Cat had a brother. So guess who was hating on Grumpy Cat? Nine times out of ten. The brother. I so-called had a brother also. And guess what his name was? Emmanuel. Guess what Barack Obama's best friend named? Rahm Emanuel. And guess who was the mayor when Barack Obama was the president? Rahm Emanuel. You understand what I'm saying? There's too much going on. I don't know what's going to happen at the end. But what I do know is I won the day. Timing is everything. I didn't have this a long time. And I was just, you know, reading it, looking for something else and stuff. Tell you the truth. And I found this. You know, I said, well, sure, let me see what this say. And sure enough, everybody trying to, everybody trying to get a piece of me. So uh, that's why I say I ain't going to need no money because if I go, we all go. Oh, I call Oakwood Cemetery too. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to Miss Jeanette or Janet. <laughs> Either way. You understand what I'm saying? I said, what you doing working on Columbus Day? You understand? At the, at the uh, Oakwood Cemetery. Mavis Staples, why you keep playing with me? Come on now. Tell the truth. They say you're still alive. I was just checking to make sure. <laughs> I'll take you there. So my real Mary McMurray, don't give up. I am a girl. I'm a she. I'm a lady. They should put lady. You understand what I'm saying? Or Chicago on my uh, license and ID. Because the transgenders put fate female. And if mine say female, then they're going to think I'm a guy. And, you know, I, I want to be separated. For real, but equal. Now, for the ones who want to be the president, this is what I came up with. I'm going to need y'all to go to the White House, form a line, and petition. We want to be the president for 30 seconds. We want to give our best speech, 30 seconds, put it on film on why we should be the president. For real. Real talk. And we'll see who really want to be the president because it's a lot of work. You understand what I'm saying? Trying to run a country and the world. You understand? Me against the world, Tupac. And I do believe I did a hell of a job all by myself. And even if I die, I would not be duplicated. And you know that. So you might as well enjoy the show while you can. But yeah, line their ass up like they trying to get some Jordans and shit. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, put that pressure on them like they put it on me. And and Secret Service, put the camera in their face and say, this is your audition to be the president. Give me th your best 30 seconds of uh, why you should be president. For real. If Easy e could get in the White House. On a technicality. <laughs> and get a million dollar press. For like $1,500 or whatever it was. And I can get Barack Obama in with my story. And Oprah on the air for 25 years. And Michael Jordan six championships. And the Bears a championship. And you know the Cubs. The Sox. The Blackhawks. The Jesse White Jr. Baseball Team of Championship. And, of course, me, the best one ever. Mary Lee, Dad's twin. Mary Lee, your ghetto news reporter and the originator of rap. Yeah. Page 290 in the Quran, uh, the English version. And 302 and 303. Wake up. Everybody, no more sleeping in bed. I told you, I can. They said they can raise the dead. I called the cemetery, flipped the Quran book. Let me see if I got it. Because you don't believe. You don't believe. I know you don't. Right here. I flipped it. You see what that say right there? It says, wake up call to the deniers. I put wake up call to all the deniers. Real talk. You understand what I'm saying? So when you try to steal mine, and on page 302, this is what I flipped it to, Oprah. You will be president before it's over with. You're going to clean up this mess. You and Michelle and um, uh, uh, Degenerate. What's her name? Degenerous. Uh, I put, when I flipped it, I had already written it. It's like I already did the um, video, the astronaut video, 1984 at the age of eight, at the age of 17. This is what it say. At the age of 17, you have to excuse me because I'm Russian. At the age of 17, I merely gave Oprah Winfrey my child abuse rap 
in a February 10, 2011, I got my ass whooped on the west side of Chicago on Whole Man and Roosevelt. For real. Whole Man. H-O-M-A-N and Roosevelt. Now, you got to remember, Martin Luther King was on the west side talking about the Poe People campaign. I'm on the east side of Chicago. And the Poe People campaign should be over here as well because I am Poe Pimpin' for real. It ain't nothing nice, but hopefully not long. And hopefully I won't have to die to get what I want in life. Real talk. But there you go right there. You got this book. I bought this book from the flea market for four dollars. This one right here. And that's why my name is on the marquee. Maz Merian. Why didn't they put Farrakhan? Elijah Muhammad. Khalid Adu Muhammad. Betty Shabazz. Ben X. Riza Islam. Oprah Winfrey. Uh, who else? Did I say Khalid Adu Muhammad? They put me. Because I'm a representation of what real love and character is. Don't assassinate my character. Because I know if I die today, my name will come down tomorrow. And that's what they really trying to do. I influence a lot of people. And I thought y'all would stand up for me. But you just wanted me to fall. They got a, um, they got a, um, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right here, I also wrote, I'm promoting. I'm promoting. Right here. I already wrote what I'm worth. Right here. I said, I'm Mary Lee, a.k.a. Mary Mack, is the originator of rap music since the year 1975, and rap music is still in on the radio as of to this year. And I got 2020, and it's still going. Uh, I'm Mary Lee is worth at least a zillion dollars. I have no will because all of my money in it, all my money, Earned by me and others, uh, thieves included, would go to heaven when I died due to the fact that I was murdered for my money, property, and prestige, even though I am not dead yet. And as of today, March 31st, 2020, now that's my uh, uh, niece, oldest niece's birthday, March 31st, and they said game bangers killed her, at least that's what my sister uh angela davis said but maybe they talking about me right but i was attacked on the 63rd street bus on march 26 2020 three days after my so-called mother mary lee wright davis died but the year was 2000 when she died and not 2020 she died supposedly from cancer i personally do not smoke as of may 25th 2000 but was given cancer that's a true story that's a true story. See, they knew my potential a long time ago. So this is also what I wrote in this book. Uh, I, Mary Lee, is a native colored girl. I spell girl, G-U-R-L. I seen somebody stole that also of Chicago, Illinois. I don't drink, drug, or smoke. Rita, I was on, Rita, I was given cancer on May 9th, 2016 or 15 by the Cook County Jail Psych Ward. Once a month for five months, May through October, sometime twice in one month, though through a needle, then I was transferred to Elgin Hospital Lock Facility for the month of November, year 2016 or 15, and given one shot a total of six months altogether. From May to November of 2016, each shot was to last 30 days to 31 days each. So for a person who don't drink drugs or smoke, that was a lot to endure. And I've seen a lot of stuff that I wish I would have never seen. And the spirit don't lie. They was killing Native America. Just like Christopher Columbus, you know, was doing when he came over here, calling himself, looking for some a new world or whatever. We invited them in and they... It's called Chirac, okay? Real talk. All right, family. Step your game up. I never lose. Peace.